Out of State has won three straight and is looking to stay unbeaten at home against Marshall. I'm Joshua Cormer alongside Appalachian State Center Bailey Plummer for today's game day conversation. Bailey, the team is finally closing out games. You're on a three-game winning streak, all three of those games by three points. You were there last year for a lot of those close losses. How does it feel to have this team start finishing games? Yeah, it definitely feels good to be able to close those close games that we uh, missed out on last year. Um, we had a lot of those last year, and we just couldn't finish, so it's good to know that uh, the progress and the work that we're doing, um, we're able to close out some games this year. What is the biggest difference, you think, compared to last year to this year in that regard? Obviously the experience, but is there anything else in particular? I think just... Uh, deeper team uh, so we have a lot more options not as tired you know fourth quarter rolls around um, I think I feel like we're more disciplined too this year um, just sticking with the game plan uh, for the whole four quarters and um, I think we're just I don't know we have a lot more players so we have a lot more options now you've really grown over your career here freshman year to sophomore year and then to junior year this year can you really just talk about your growth each and every year last year you had a huge sophomore breakout season this year teams are keen on you more but can you just talk about your growth overall yeah um like i said we have a lot more players this year so we have a lot more assets and weapons but um i don't know just try to come in here and get better every day um just you know always grateful for the opportunity to come play so i just try to take advantage of every opportunity that i get now, like I said, teams are keying on you more. They're getting you into foul trouble. They're double teaming you. How can you really combat that and just work through it? Yeah, I think I should uh, remain calm, uh, get a little hectic out there, um, but remain calm and just mainly just uh, use my teammates around me. There's a lot of weapons on the floor, and um, I just got to be able to you know, dish, out the, dish out the ball when I need to. Double team comes, you know, look for my teammates and just really get, get them the ball when, you know, when it's not there for me. Now, along with being one of the biggest weapons on this team, you also work incredibly hard in the classroom. You're part of the criminal justice program and uh, campus security. How do you balance the two of them? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's uh, it's been hectic this year, but it's been a good kind of hectic. Um, I say busy, but um, I really love what I do. I love the security um, aspect around here on campus, and um, I don't know, I just... I love school, so I find time to get the work done, and um, basketball is just something I do for fun on the side. So. <laughs> well, b- big congratulations on being the Scholar Athlete of the Week uh, here at Appalachian State, but along with that, you're facing a Marshall team today coming off a of Thanksgiving break. How do you think the team is going to lock in and focus, especially after the mini break? Yeah, we always have to come back, you know, focus. They give us, you know, a couple days off, and you know, let our body rest, um, but, you know, we have to come in here, stay focused, and uh, stick to the game plan, and just be ready to play when, from the jump. What is the big area of focus in today's game against Marshall? They don't shoot the ball too well so far this year, but what's just the big area that the coaches have been focusing on? Uh, probably the three-point line. They don't shoot the ball well, but they shoot a lot of shots. Um, so they're looking for the threes, uh, looking to attack the paint a lot. Uh, so we just got to like stay down, um, don't you know, watch the greens, watch the shooters. Um, but box out is mainly the two big things. So. Awesome. Well, thank you, Bailey Plummer, and good luck today.